and uh, welcome to the fall 2016 Wing Commander debate. I am Lieutenant Bilby, and I just, you know, from the onset, I want to say I really don't like either one of these candidates. I especially don't like the Democratic candidate. I'm, I mean, I'm from the most conservative county in America, Orange County. But we're going to start off with opening statements, so why don't we go ahead? Yeah, whatever. Good evening to all my fellow cadets and Americans here to witness the beautiful process of democracy at work. Okay, first order business. What makes you the best choice for Wing Commander? You're all garbage. All you fools do is stand around and talk about Cabo Bobs every day. And if you want to win so bad that you're going to be sick of winning, then vote for me as your next Wing Commander. I'm clearly the best choice for Wing Commander. I have the experience and I have the progressive vision for the Cadet Wing. When I am Wing Commander, the hangar will be free and open to all. We will give free crackers and sports drinks to everyone. And only those of the highest rank will pay for them. We will no longer wear boots. We will wear Birkenstocks. This is what the people want, and this is what the people will get. Okay, you can't give free everything to everyone, but you know what, we're going to move on. So, second question. Uh, we gotta find two grog ingredients. Which should they be and why? You know what? There's only one ingredient that the cadets really want. It's gonna make the wing great again. And you know what that ingredient is? It's Cadet Schroeder's favorite drink, Coca-Cola. And you know what? Navy ROTC is gonna pay for it. And you know why? Because they just stop. And we're gonna be great at PT. At everything. And you know why? Because I'm very rich, let me tell you. Do you really need to ask any more questions about my credibility? The cadet wing really wants something clean, healthy, and community-centered. I'll have small juice boxes for all to combat the disgust and humiliation created by the grogs of my predecessors. And Lieutenant Bilby, you know what else? Live from the detachment. It's Friday night. It's weekend update with Cadet Smith and no one. As many of you have heard by now, we've come across a discrepancy of our liquid diet in our modern world. Spend any time around Alan Wright, and he'll be sure to fill you in. Among other worn out, overtold, repeated stories, he'll tell you that milk does not make any biological sense whatsoever. Welcome to Weekend Updates. Everybody, this is Captain Ol' Mixon. What's up? Now, Captain Olmison, we understand that you're pretty kind of a laid-back guy. Yeah. Well, would you say that this chill, laid-back atmosphere happened at the Academy, laxing it up with your boys, or did it come around when you re-entered your hometown, Austin, Texas? Oh, it was Academy. <laughs> now, you've got to tell us, what does your morning workout routine look like? Uh, well, first I show up to y'all's PT. In my hoodie, that on, doesn't matter what time it is. And uh, I just kind of stand there doing nothing, um, watching, you know, Banks, Carnes, Shook, uh, Time Y'all. I, I think that's their names. Um, and then from there, I just, uh, you know, fill up some pre workout in the shake cup, um, head over to the rec center, toss some daddy raid around. Uh, you know, one thing I do uh, in between sets, I'll just, you know, toss in like, you know, 100 jump ropes in. I'm a jump man, what do you expect? Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, after that, I just pretty much go chill out and, you know, kick it on the fifth floor. 
I mean, it's honestly probably the most I've ever said to y'all. So you heard it here first on camera. That's literally all you're going to get out of me from here on out because I'm a busy guy. Well, there you have it, folks. Now, Captain Old Mixon, just out of curiosity, and because we're all dying to know, but we've noticed Lieutenant Joby working out with the guys, and he attended at least two PTs per week. So just wondering, uh, would you say the Air Force Academy football workouts are a little bit harder than the Air Force Academy lacrosse workouts? Like, are we talking varsity? Yeah. Are we talking club? Yeah, stop, stop. Oh, Sorry. I am extremely, no, sir, you know my what? apologies, sir, I, I must have, I'm mistaken, like, you can, I'm, I'm really, guy. I don't mean to offend you, sir, like, please, sir, are you sure, yeah. uh, we, can, we can redo this, we can, I don't, all right, well, there you have it, folks, Captain All Nixon. Now, we got to cut to our presenters down at MTV. Yo, what's up, MTV? We're here at Day 825 at the University of Texas at Austin. We want to show you our crib. Let's go. Let's get it. We got the head all the way up top to the fifth floor. Penthouse sweet. Closet that's where we stay fresh on the street. Yo, let me show you what we got. We got a new pair of these for every day. Yo, I see. Yo, wear one of these, throw it away. Wear one of these, throw it away. Never wear the same thing twice, you know what I'm saying? We can all match every day. It's great. Alright, so check out what we got right here. Go to our foot selection. You know I'm a sneakerhead. You know I'm a sneakerhead. Tell me why you don't have the Air Force Ones still in their limited mint condition wrapping paper. These are great. Too shiny. Too shiny. All right, check it out. Special treat for y'all today. PT shirts. You know you want to work out every day of the week, at least Tuesday, Thursdays, or maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, or maybe Wednesday, Thursday. It doesn't matter, or you can go all three days. You know, but what's really important to notice here, we got sizes. We got smalls, medium, largest. We got the extra smalls. Right, shook, hunger, looking at you. Sleeves going up to here, trying to show off the guns, but we all know y'all got them. Maybe right does, but that's about it. All right, y'all, check this out. Yo, two chains got this much metal? Yo, doubt it. All right, yo, let's roll. Jump in, jump in, jump in, them boys are just something. All right, next we're about to show you all the hanger. This is where we hang out, this is where we kick it, this is where we skip class. This is where we hang out before class and after class. All right, come check it out. All right, so first thing you see, you walk in here, you look left, you see some jobs. We got good jobs, we got great jobs, we got uh, this uh, logistics. No, what's that? I, I don't know, I haven't really heard of it, but that's, that's tight. Alright, so check it. We got our pool table here. As you can see, it's more of like a locking locker facility. Keep all our stuff on it. That's great. Megan's uh, uniform time, that's awesome. If only we had lockers to put all this crap in, that would be just phenomenal. Got a toilet in case you can't make it all the way to the bathroom. That's chill. Next off, I'll show you the big, big leaves, alright? The microwave. Six seconds left. I'm gonna clear that out. Help my buddies for tomorrow. Ain't nothing in there. Why there just gotta be six seconds? Come on, guys, use your heads. Let's so check out this fridge. Yo, we got some cream cheese. Yo, we got some orange juice. Yeah, I know we got that. Let's see. Some Pascadella, some peanut butter here. That's right, it's a good snack, protein. All right, so now we're about to check out the flight line. No planes in here. Only knowledge and learning and printing, excessive amounts from the free printing we have available to us. Hi. Typical oh. mumble greetings, every time. Every time we walk in here, it never fails. All right, so you might be wondering why we got nine computers. Well, who else you know got nine computers? Nobody. Why we got nine computers? I don't know. But it's easy to have nine computers? Psh, doubt it. Maybe if I was a cat, I'd have nine computers, because then if I died. Let's go see Cadre. Cadre? Probably left early. It's like two. Detail falling. Nah, psych. For POC, we can just walk in. Right? <laughs> Let's get it. pit. This is where y'all hang out. That's upperclassmen. As you can see, we keep it very clean. Tip-top shape. 
Uh, we've got my locker right here. Personally, I keep all my uniforms, attires, in here. I literally never take it home. I uh, rarely wash it either. I just uh, leave it in here, keep it fresh, keep it clean. It's great. We've got some artifacts right here. Tell us what we got. So we got this football from when UT was good, I guess. Back, I don't know. Natty when Champions, 05 baby. It's only been like a few seasons. Now here we have the Eagle Snatchers, where the big boys hang out. This is where uh, you know our wing commander and the wing staff hang out. You know, clean workstations all around. American flag. Love it. Gotta love it. It's where the GMC come to die. Yeah, not really though. That'd be bad. All right, yeah, we checked out upstairs. We checked out everything up here. Let's go check out the whips. Inch rims, Ooh. the body kit. You already know. Hey, what's up, homie? Yo, who else you know got a couch in their car? You got kill naps in here. All right, first things first about the inside of this van. The door doesn't work, but that's all good. Anything you need, we got it. We got some empty, or there's still a little bit left, SAE 5W20 motor oil. That's great. You fill up your car, fill up your ride. We got some old, old Belleville edition boots. Well, we just got one boot, so that's just one. All right, so check it out. We got some sweaty ABU socks. Don't wish I'd be touching those. I don't know, we got some other items. One shoe, a dirty plate, USA for all your financial needs. Let me tell you, Dan, he had the hookup today and Lee Lab told us all about checking your credit and spending big. When you get out and you commission to be a lieutenant, make sure you drop that first loan on a brand new Corvette or a van like this because you want to be smart with your money. You really want to be whipping up with all your buddies can see you the best possible wheels like we have here. Check it out. Look inside. We got all the things you can ever need. We got a hanger. The clothes nice. We got a nice roof. Best of all, we got our own personal driver. Yeah, all right, so. Thank you all for watching. Thanks MTV. Thanks for checking out our debt. Thanks for checking out our crib. Most importantly, thanks for checking out Fowler's Ride. That's all we got to get to class now. Or we'll play some pool. Right. And there you have it, folks. Those were our weekend updates. Make sure you tune in next week for a special clip on a spelling bee between Captain Anderson and Cadet Alan Wright. But first, here is a message from our sponsors from Geico. Filling out and submitting an earth is so easy, a caveman can do it. <laughs> jump in, jump in, jump in, them boys up to something. They just spent like two or three weeks out the country. Them boys up to something, they just not just bluffing. You don't have to call, I hear my dance like Usher. Ooh, ooh, ooh,